today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a clay snail. I like to use red Georgia clay um, because we're in Georgia and I like to think of the fact that I'm holding a piece of Georgia right now or if I were to ever move I would take my piece of Georgia with me and I would always have that memory of being here. Clay is different from using Play-Doh and some of those other things because the fact that it dries really quickly as you're working with it. So if you're having a problem or need some assistance, the best thing you can do is take it out of your hands and let it just sit on the table till I can come over and assist you with it. Don't keep trying to fix it um, because the more you try to fix it, if it's not working correctly, the more it's going to get messed up. Um, because clay is uh, not real forgiving um, when we're making these snails. All right, so you're gonna get a piece of clay that looks similar to the shape of a baked potato. I've already got it ready for you um, to start rolling it out. We're gonna roll it out in sort of like what looks like a snake. Um, it's actually called a coil when you're talking about clay. And um, when you're rolling out clay to make a coil, you wanna be careful about adding pressure. You don't wanna push really hard because then you'll end up with part of it really thick and part of it thin and it won't look right. So I'm gonna do a little demonstration and I'm gonna start rolling and rolling. Now I'm gonna make a mistake on purpose so you can see. All right, I'm gonna to push too hard in one area and not worry about the other area. All right, you notice how I'm pushing over here and I've totally forgotten about this piece of clay? Look, this side's gotten really thin and this side is still thick. I can still fix that. It doesn't mean ball it up and start over, but I need to start rolling the thicker part and adding some pressure over here. So I'm gonna start rolling over here. We're not trying to get the longest coil in the world. We're not setting a world record. What we do want to get is our coil to be about the length of our arm, maybe a little bit shorter. So what I like to do is sort of stretch out my arm and I lay the clay on it um, from uh, our fingertips just past our elbow. Um, I, you might go a little bit longer if you want, but definitely not to the shoulder, okay? I've got it stopping right here. So now what I'm going to do is I want to start rolling it up, kind of like a cinnamon roll. Um, so I'm going to pick whichever end I want to start with and roll. So, and as I roll, I'm going to gently push them together. All right, so I'm rolling, rolling, and I'm gently pushing it together so it won't unroll like a yo-yo. All right, we want it to stay rolled up where we put it. So I'm rolling, rolling. See the cinnamon roll look we're getting here? Yeah. All right, so here we go. I have sort of the shape of a snail. Now I wanna do his head because it's kind of weird looking right now. It's got these lines from when I rolled it with a coil, but your finger works just like an eraser. Um, so I'm going to sort of use my finger and smooth it out. I know you're, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'm just sort of erasing any lines I don't like um, and smoothing them out. All right. Okay, so now it really does look like a cinnamon roll. It doesn't look like a snail yet. If I try to set it up on the table, it's, it keeps wanting to fall over, which I don't want. I want it to be able to sit up. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm holding the head and the back still. I'm going to hold them together and I'm going to gently, gently <laughs> plop it on the table. I probably need to do it again, okay, gently. I don't want to flatten it and smush it, but I do want it to sit up where it's not wanting to fall over. All right, now what I need to do is, you notice they have sort of a tail. It looks similar to a slug. If you've ever seen a slug, it's a snail without a shell, basically. Um, we want to sort of make that look at the bottom where it has a sluggy look. So I'm going to carefully take my fingers and I am, let's see if you can see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm sort of trying to grab some clay. I don't want it too thin. 
because if it's real thin, it's going to tend to break. And now I'm sort of pinching around the other bottom edge. All right, so you can kind of see the bottom. Cute, huh? All right, let's make sure it stands. Okay. Now for the face. Try to get it, have that one of the little lines in it. For the face, I like to put googly eyes in once it's been painted and fired twice. So in order for those googly eyes to stay really well, I use the back of a nail because it's like a perfect circle and I stamp it in. I do not push it all the way through the head. I don't want to drill a hole in my poor little snail, but I do want to push and make an indention. So I'm going to push it in gently and then I'm going to lift it back out and you see it made like a, a circle. All right, I'm gonna do it again because he has two eyes. Okay, you can sort of see that. All right, now for um, the antenna. You will notice when I did my antennas, I only put one hole, even though there are two antennas because I just used one wire and folded it in half. So I'm going to take the pointy part of the nail, and I'm going to stick it in his head. All right, look, it's in his head, nice and deep. All right, nice and deep. And then I'm going to gently pull it back out. So now he has one hole in his head. All right, then the mouth. So one of my mouths is, um, he's just kind of like smiling, his mouth's open. This little guy over here, he's kind of has that scared look in his face. His eyes like, whoa. So I achieved those mouths with this clay tool. This clay tool right here, when I made this mouth, I used the flat end. And I just set it in there and I sort of wiggled it back and forth a little so it would open. The other one, I used the opposite end of the tool, the rounded part and I stuck it in there and I did the same thing. I just sort of lifted it open. Um, that's the one I'm gonna do this time is the smaller mouth. So I'm gonna take this, I'm going to poke it in, and then I'm just gonna wiggle it back and forth. It just kind of makes a bigger, oh boy, his mouth is crooked. He's like, what, huh? What did you do to me, Whoa. I like it, I think it's cute. And we are almost done now. We have to write our name on the bottom. This little wooden pointed stick works great for writing our name. And so when it comes on the bottom, we're going to write our name, not our initials. We are writing our name. And I want you to put the initial of your teacher. If you are in Miss Bellamy's class, I want you to write a capital B. If you are in Miss Condon's class, I want you to put a capital C. That way, when I go to distribute your snails, once they're completely finished, I'll know which classroom teacher to take it to. We are finished for today. Thank you.